Good morning. This is Emilio Di Benedetto. I'm a system engineer uh, on the CN Maestro product. And this morning, uh, we're here to uh, provide an update on CN Maestro. So thanks for joining. So initially, uh, I'd like to just uh, provide just a quick overview um, for anyone who is new to CN Maestro. Um, CN Maestro uh, is a, our platform that is both a network management platform uh, as well as a wireless uh, controller for Wi-Fi deployments. Uh, it's intended to support uh, all of Cambium's product lines, uh, starting with our CN Pilot uh, indoor and outdoor enterprise and residential Wi-Fi, our last mile point to point, point to multi-point product lines, as well as uh, our point to point to point uh, products. So with CN Maestro, you have a single pane of glass. Uh, for all of these platforms, giving you an end-to-end -end view. Uh, it, pro it provides a uh, single uh, interface and a single user interface and a single set of APIs, regardless of the platform that you're deploying. And CM Maestro itself was architected uh, initially for cloud and um, made to be uh, secure and very scalable and redundant. We do offer uh, Cambia or CN Maestro Cloud, which uh, we host in Amazon AWS. Uh, but for those who'd like to host uh, CN Maestro themselves, uh, we have an on-premises instance that uh, you can host locally. So just looking backwards uh, quickly, uh, these are some of the updates that have um, been introduced in the last uh, couple months. Uh, the main one here uh, in the top right corner is uh, for if you're running on-premises, um, version 1.6.1 for CN Maestro introduced uh, an updated Linux kernel, and that's to address uh, any security issues that were associated with Spectre and Meltdown. Aside from that, um, we have uh, been running an ongoing beta for a feature that we call the Managed Service Provider feature, which allows you to use your single CN Maestro uh, account and split it off into subtenants. Uh, this is beneficial when you um, have an enterprise customer that you would like to um, brand your services and um, even provide them uh, the ability to log in and see their devices. Uh, that included with that is uh, role-based uh, privilege levels that you can assign to them. Um, regarding this MSP feature, uh, we have been running uh, in beta on cloud uh, for some time, um, but in May, we'll introduce uh, support uh, for, uh, we'll start the beta for on-premises as well. Uh, we've introduced the ability to run link tests for testing the uh, air interface of PMP and EPMP devices. We've introduced the ability to export and import uh, configuration objects. So that would be the Wi-Fi AP group and the uh, WLAN objects. So if, you're, um, if you want to duplicate uh, certain settings um, between CN Maestro instances, um, we make it easy to do that now. The association access control list gives you a single uh, point where you can whitelist and blacklist your Wi-Fi clients on an SSID, and that would map across all of the Wi-Fi APs that are using that SSID. Uh, we've added radius authentication of CN Maestro administrators uh, for your on-premises instance, and that's already in addition. That's in addition to the ability to use uh, just the local database in CN Maestro for managing your admins, as well as TACX Plus and Active Directory integration. Uh, Wi-Fi configuration sync uh, enables uh, Wi-Fi CN Pilot Wi-Fi APs that may have missed uh, an upgrade or an update, configuration update, uh, because the device was offline. This feature um, enables them to automatically pull that update the next time they reconnect. And 
we have a client sessions report in on-premises, uh, which can allow you to see, um, get a report of uh, all of your Wi-Fi clients, even if they've, they're currently disconnected over the last 24 hours. Now, uh, last week we released uh, CN Maestro 1.6.2. Uh, we released that for on-premises and uh, cloud servers are getting upgraded this week. So this is uh, a bit of a maintenance release um, with some, some, some a few enhancements. Um, one of the new features that's introduced in 1.6.2 is what we call the lock Wi-Fi AP configuration. And if you would like to deploy your CM pilot devices so that you guarantee that the configuration that you're setting uh, centrally at CN Maestro is that which is running on the device, you would enable this feature. Uh, what this would mean is that if for any reason somebody used the device UI or CLI to make some changes, the device would automatically be uh, configured back to the way um, it was um, according to the CN Maestro administrator. So this provides a mechanism to uh, centrally guarantee um, the configuration of all your CN Pilot devices. Uh, there's a few uh, UI uh, improvements in terms of uh, bulk operations. Uh, there's the ability to uh, bulk move devices um, or delete. Uh, so for example, if you have a bunch of devices that maybe are just sitting in your default network and they happen to be CM Pilot devices, you may want to move um, a number of them into a, a Wi-Fi site. Um, this makes that operation easier. And also uh, the ability to delete jobs. Um, we've had some customers mention that their uh, completed jobs, either for software update or configuration, um, their queues were getting too long. And um, this provides a nice way to kind of clean clean house. As far as uh, CM Pilot Enterprise, the E-Series goes, um, this release uh, adds support for uh, the configuration parameters that are listed in this table. So these would be found um, when you're defining your WLAN objects in CN Maestro. You should see um, these five new parameters that uh, are configurable. And lastly, for this uh, 162 release is uh, uh, a mesh peers report, and this is in the on-premises version. And this allows you to um, generate a report over the last 24 hours of the mesh peers. So this is referring to um, the Wi-Fi link when you're running in mesh mode. It's the Wi-Fi link between your base and any of the, the um, mesh clients. So we are working on releasing the following features uh, for the May-June uh, timeframe. Uh, the first one is the frequency visualization uh, for PMP and EPMP deployments. Uh, so this will, in your geographical map view, will give you the ability to uh, view your sector frequencies uh, by color code, and it will should help in terms of um, identifying any potential issues that you're having um, because of uh, conflicting frequencies and um, help provide a better understanding of how your network is deployed. Uh, we'll also be introducing uh, support for the PTP 550 as well as the EPMP Force uh, 300. Also in this time frame uh, is the often requested email notification feature. Um, so this will allow someone to get um, notifications based on alarm status uh, in CN Maestro, and um, you'll be able to add um, administrators, uh, define what severity alarms you'd like them to receive, and, um, and, and um, so that, that will be the email notification feature. Uh, for on-premises, um, we'll introduce a high availability uh, feature. So cloud, by definition, is already uh, highly available. 
but um, this provides a mechanism where even customers that are running uh, on-premises to have uh, HA deployments. Software update on reconnect. Um, so this will help in the scenarios where you um, attempt to push a software upgrade, but a couple customers have their devices offline, maybe in the middle of the night, et cetera, and they're hard to catch. So the next time the device uh, connects to the network and contacts CN Maestro, it will be instructed to up, up, finish its update. And for on-premises uh, instances, we'll have the scheduled system backups. And this provides a mechanism where you can um, regularly back up your entire on-premises uh, database. Um, you can choose daily or weekly um, frequency, and um, you can point it to an FTP server if you'd like. Uh, just a tad bit later in the July timeframe, uh, we're working on a graphical reports feature. Um, so currently we, uh, we support uh, data reports, which are more of a CSV uh, style, um, but this will be um, a graphical PDF type of uh, summary um, for systems, network sites, um, inventory, performance type summaries. Uh, also, um, we'll enhance the RESTful APIs. Uh, so currently, we already, for on-premises, we already support um, read APIs, where you can read most information out of your on-premises instance. And um, in the July timeframe, we'll add support where you can now um, start to trigger uh, basic configuration uh, operations. And we'll also introduce uh, support for PTP product line. So this would include the 650, 670, and 700, and also um, CN Reach if you were deploying uh, our narrowband IoT solution. So this is uh, kind of the uh, the end of our update. Um, we encourage you to you know keep tabs with us on uh, the community. Um, if, you're, if you're new uh, to CN Maestro, um, when you go to Cambium's homepage, uh, just click on products and then CN Maestro, and um, you can get started there with either your cloud or on-premises deployments. Thank you everyone for uh, joining and for listening in. Um, we look forward to um, seeing any comments, questions um, on the forum. Thank you and have a good day.